Hello students, in this video we'll see how to find the PDF of a transformation of a random variable whose PDF is known. Let's suppose that x is a random variable uniformly distributed on the interval 0 to L. What we'd like to do is like to find the PDF of C times X E to the X and the square root of X. So what we can note is we can note that if I want to find the probability that X is less than or equal to x. This will be 1 over L, the integral from 0 up to x of du. If, which is just going to be x over L, if x is between 0 and L. So if x lies in the interval between 0 and L, this formula is valid. So if we wish to find the PDF of c times x, the probability that x times a constant c is less than or equal to x is the probability that x is less than or equal to x over c, which is 1 over L, the integral from 0 to x over c of du. And we wish to see an x in the top limit of integration, so we'll make a change of variables here. What we can do is we can let u be t over c. Then we can note that when u is equal to 0, t is equal to 0, so u equals 0 implies t equals 0, and u equals x over c implies that t is equal to x. So if we do this change of variables, our integral becomes the following. Our integral becomes 1 over L, the integral from 0 up to x. And then I will have a du, which is dt over c. And so this is going to be 1 over c times L, the integral from 0 to x of dt. And so we see from this that c times x is uniformly distributed on the interval L times c. So that's our first PDF. To do the second PDF, we used to find the probability that e to the x is less than or equal to x which is equal to the probability that x is less than or equal to the natural log of x. And we can find this probability by looking at our integral. So this will be the integral 1 over L, the integral from 0 to the natural log of x. Then I'll have a du. And now I can make a substitution over here. So I want a substitution, so I want to change this to an x. So, if I let u be the log of t, then we have the following limits of integration. This tells me that when u is equal to 0, then t is equal to 1. And when u is equal to the log of x, that implies that t is equal to x. And so what we'll do is we can also say that when I plug in t equals 0 into this formula, I'll get that u is negative infinity. So what will happen over here is we will integrate 1 over L, the integral. Now my limits of integration will turn to 1 to x. And then we will have du. du is going to be a 1 over t. And then we'll have a dt.
And so we have over here that we can perform this integration. So this will be 1 over L. And now I will have an antiderivative of 1 over T will just be log of T evaluated from 1 up to X. And so this will just be 1 over L, the natural log of X. So that is our CDF, CDF. So this is the CDF. And so if we differentiate this, we will have 1 over L, 1 over X. And this is going to be the PDF in which range? Well, in the range specified by the variable over here. So what do we know about the log of x? We know that x over here is between 0 and l. So x is between 0 and l. And there's our PDF. We can do the same thing with the square root of x. So we can note, so similarly, the probability that the square root of x is less than or equal to x is the same thing as the probability that x is less than x squared. And then we can write this as 1 over L, the integral from 0 to x squared of dt, as long as x is between 0 and L. And we can perform this integration and get x squared over L. And differentiating this, we will get a 2x over L if x is between 0 and L. So to find the PDF of a new random variable, you basically will use the inverse function of the function that's applied to the random variable, and then differentiate the CDF to find the PDF. Thank you very much.